Hello. In almost two years, as general manager of IBM's enterprise systems business, uh, what we now call the large-scale computing division, I've had the pleasure of visiting quite a few customers. So it's entirely possible that you and I have met before. If we have, well, I'm happy to renew our acquaintance, if only through the medium of TV. If we haven't, then I hope we can meet face to face in the future. Now, I have a few messages for you about one of our premier operating systems, namely VMESA. But first, I would like to say thank you. Thank you for the business that you've done with us over the years. Now, we'll keep working hard to earn more of your trust and your business, but I also want to thank you for taking the time to listen to me. As I've said, I've visited a lot of customers, and I know how hard you're all working and how little, how little time you really have to spare. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if several of you are watching this at home. Well, we're all working so hard because there's just so much change and innovation in the industry. Today, you can't read the paper without seeing reports of new chips, new applications, new computing concepts, new vendor alliances, and more and more and more. Well, there's great opportunity in all this innovation, and of course a great challenge as well. The opportunity? Well, whole new ways of doing business, of being competitive, of being more profitable. The challenge? Choosing the right combination of systems so that you can take advantage of the opportunity. Now, we've been talking to a lot of customers like you, and you've told us what you want in the System 390. First, you want System 390 to be open so it can work together with all your other platforms and architectures. Second, you want System 390 to perform as a server, bringing all its historic strengths to your client server environment. Now, you know them well, attributes like data, network and systems management, like data integrity and security, and, of course, most important, the rock-solid reliability that you've come to expect from IBM's large systems. Well, by incorporating industry standards like TCP IP and OSI, System 390 is more open today than it was in the past. It'll grow even more open as we continue adopting standards like DCE, and DME. But even as we grow more open, we will continue supporting the time-tested operating systems, the products and standards that continue to serve you and our other customers so well. And when it comes to serving your client systems, the ES9000, the technological heart of the System 390, is very simple and very simply incomparable. The ES9000 embodies three decades of experience in managing communications and data. It manages storage and networks. It's an ideal large server for workstations, data, and distributed transactions. And when it comes to multimedia in the fullest sense, large volume full motion video, it's the only server. So System 390 is open, and we're making it even more open and we're enhancing the System 390 platform to make an already super server a superb server. Moreover, we're doing this while enhancing the multi-billion dollar investments that customers have made over the years. Now, while we're on the subject of money, let's look at a, another concern that we've heard about from you reflecting the total cost of computing. I want to give you some general idea of the steps that we're taking to address your costs. We're offering more flexibility in software pricing. We're focusing on customer satisfaction and pricing software to reflect its value to you. If you are running several different operating systems on a single machine, for example, uh, you can take advantage of multiple operating system pricing. Pricing for Office Vision VM is based on the number of users. Customers with LAN file server ESA are charged on the number of OS2 LANs attached to the mainframe, while LAN res pricing is keyed to the number of netware servers attached. In addition, the cost of supporting the system will come down 
as application development and maintenance become easier. Operations and systems management along with it will become more automated and environmentals will become less expensive. Now a major factor in lowering the costs will be dramatic improvements in the price performance of the hardware. Lower cost, scalable System 390 parallel microprocessors for specialized workloads will begin to appear this year. In the second half of this decade, you'll see an entire family of mainframe and parallel processors based on System 390 microprocessors. A VM has already prototyped a parallel environment jointly with a customer and will support System 390 parallel processors. We're also addressing cost with RISC microprocessors. In fact, the first RISC-based parallel supercomputers have already been delivered by our power parallel business. These scalable, less costly systems will enable scientific and commercial Unix customers to grow well beyond the desktop. Now, System 390 is moving into the future by building on the past, and so is VM. With more than 9 million customers logging on to VM each day, and many more using it, it from a guest and networking capability perspective, VM remains IBM's premier interactive operating system. And VM Office is a perfect example. Every day, some 3 million people around the world use this popular application. In fact, it's so popular because it's so cost effective. Our customer's analysis of his total VM Office implementation demonstrated cost per user per year to be about $300. And their cost per note was significantly less with VM Office than with the LAN solution. This February, Gartner Group reported that if a customer has more than 100 users, VM Office is more cost effective than PC LAN solutions. Forrester Research reports that host mail systems are less expensive than LAN-based email because of the higher cost of administering LAN mail services. And that's not all. VM Office provides a total solution in a single offering. More effective central administration, greater capacity including backup resources, and greater accountability with a single sign-on and single point of security. And of course, an established infrastructure that can get to anybody anywhere in the